Meet Paul Handover. He lives in Josephine County, Oregon with his wife, Jean. Paul has written a book entitled Learning from Dogs. Here's how we got the idea. Well, the, 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 the idea was really put in my mind many years ago when uh, I was still living in England and I had cause to be speaking to a good friend who uh, by background was a professional psychotherapist and uh, he mentioned that dogs are creatures of integrity and this was when I had Pharaoh, my German Shepherd, that's him on the cover of the book who is still with us but now a very old dog and I thought yes they are creatures of integrity and that struck me as such an important principle then much later on when I was with Jean and surrounded by you know up to 16 dogs at times and living with dogs we have nine dogs here living with them on a day-to-day -day basis I realized that there are many many qualities and a couple of years ago I started thinking about those qualities uh, openness trust faithfulness loyalty playfulness and more that, that the qualities that we as humans really do need to learn and to have in our lives on a daily basis because they deliver such beautiful rewards. I asked Paul Handover about his experiences in writing the book. In 2013 I wrote uh, some draft words and I repeated some more draft words in 2014 and, and brought it all together to publish the book last December um, and th that's it. I'm very pleased to say that the book is book has been out now for about eight months. In his book, Handover mentions that some of the qualities we can learn from dogs date back before written history. The qualities that wolves had, qualities that kept the pack together in harmony and helped them survive. Today's dogs, all descended from these wolves, extend these noble qualities to humans. Paul's dog, Pharaoh, provided his formative experience with dogs. And then he met Jean, yeah. who rescued abused dogs in Mexico. Now they live with a large family of rescued dogs. There's a lot more to his book than I could represent here. I asked Paul how people could get a copy of his book. The, my website, learningfromdogs.com, uh, it's possible to have the book, uh, to order the book from the website, either for me to send it to you as a, as a physical book or to download it as, as an electronic book, whichever suits the, the potential customer. 50% of the net proceeds of the sale of the book, and the book is retailing for fifteen ninety five, and it cost me a little over $4.30 to print. Uh, the net difference is split 50-50, um, with the local Rogue Valley Humane Society. Uh, so there's a direct benefit going to a society that rescues dogs and finds homes for them in, in the neighborhood. He just came into the house. He's never messed the house. He's never chewed anything. Paul and his wife Jean suggest adopting a dog from a shelter. Yes, G Jean, Jean's the one who really stresses this. Um, a lot of people seem to have the idea that when they're thinking of getting their first dog that rescue dogs are somehow damaged dogs and that it's much better to get a, a puppy. That's not the case. In fact, um, rescue dogs very, very often uh, provide a better pet in the sense that the rescue dog has often been through the stage where they're, you know, they're, they're, they're wetting the floor or worse, um, they're, they're through their puppy stage, they're, they're very, very comfortable with humans, obviously, and in many, many cases they show their gratitude. And of the nine dogs we have here, uh, seven are rescue dogs. And, I mean, John, you've been looking around at the dogs, I mean, there's not a trace of any of how can I call it? There's not a trace of any negative personality, neg negative behavior, that's because they're rescuers, it's not the case at all. They're, they're very wonderful, loving dogs. And in a way that's probably a little bit subjective, we think, Jean and I think strongly, that a rescue dog, when they are in a loving home, understands that and shows their gratitude. Terribly subjective, I'm the first to admit. That's not to say that Paul's against getting a puppy. This is Cleo, and 
When I first had Pharaoh, when I was in England, the, the trainer said to me, when Pharaoh gets old, do yourself a favour, get a puppy. Uh, because the puppy will keep the older dog playful and the elder dog will teach the puppy everything you've taught the elder dog. And, and in fact, of course, I didn't realise at the time that I, I'd end up in America. But it's, but it's absolutely true. Cleo has a whole range of understandings and she's not had five seconds of training. And, and it's somehow it's just, she's inculcated all those um, commands. For Paul and Jean, rescuing animals doesn't stop at dogs. Meet a rescue so this, horse. This is Ben. This is the horse that was abused so badly. Looks like you've got him back to health, huh? Oh yeah, he's, he's a lovely animal. He's a lovely animal. Um, Paul and Jean rescued this horse from an abusive man who let his kids shoot it with a BB gun. Understandably, the horse retreats from men. Paul and Jean maintain that it's love that heals both dogs and horses. Now equally, the horses and the dogs you know, respond to a person coming at them with you know, love in their hearts and... Yes? Oh, look, look at this. Oh, look at this. This is a treat. Mm. After we first had him, there was no way I could have got that close to him. Absolutely no way. So you've developed trust with him? Yes, yes, yes. So, the lesson Paul learned from dogs goes out to horses as well. The way they can go out into the world of people and change our world into one with greater integrity. At least that's the idea in Paul Handover's book, Learning from Dogs. Viewers can learn more about what we have to learn from dogs by visiting his website, learningfromdogs.com.